Among the gods there is none like you, O Lord, for you are great and do marvelous deeds. You alone are God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. You are very welcome to join us here for daily Mass in the Church of the Immaculate Conception at Adam and Eve's Merchants Quay in Dublin. Very often in the Gospel, we see Jesus at odds with the group known as the scribes and the Pharisees. Usually, these people are shown by the evangelists to be concerned more with external observances to the point of obsession. This morning, however, we will hear a different kind of encounter. A scribe asks Jesus a simple and straightforward question. Not to catch him out, but to find the answer. Which is the first of the commandments? In his response, Jesus ties together the commandment to love God and the commandment to love neighbor adding that there is no commandment greater than these. The scribe was genuinely impressed and said that these two commandments are far more important than any holocaust or sacrifice. In these words, he shows that he understood the call to repentance that we constantly find in the prophets and that we will hear in the first reading from the prophet Hosea. No matter how unfaithful we may be, God is ever ready to welcome us back. As we begin this Mass, let us reflect on that call in the depths of our hearts and turn to our loving God once more with humility and confidence. Lord, by water and the Spirit you give us new life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, by the cross you bring pardon and hope. Christ, have mercy. Lord, by your death you bring peace to the sinner. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Pour your grace into our hearts, we pray, O Lord, that we may be constantly drawn away from unruly desires and obey by your own gift the heavenly teaching you give us. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Hosea. The Lord says this, Israel, come back to the Lord your God. Your iniquity was the cause of your downfall. Provide yourself with words and come back to the Lord. Say to him, take all iniquity away so that we may have happiness again and offer you our words of praise. Assyria cannot save us. We will not ride horses any more or say our God to what our hands have made. For you are the one in whom orphans find compassion. I will heal their disloyalty. I will love them with all my heart, for my anger has turned from them. I will fall like dew on Israel. He shall bloom like the lily and thrust out roots like the poplar. His shoots will spread far. He will have the beauty of the olive and the fragrance of Lebanon. They will come back to live in my shade. They will grow corn that flourishes. They will cultivate vines as renowned as the wine of, Israel, of Hebron. What has Ephraim to do with idols anymore when it is I who hear his prayers and care for him? 
I am like a cypress evergreen. All your fruitfulness comes from me. Let the wise man understand these words. Let the intelligent man grasp their meaning. For the ways of the Lord are straight, and virtuous men walk in them, but sinners stumble. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In the response to the psalm, I am the Lord your God, listen to my warning. I am the Lord your God, listen to my warning. A voice I did not know said to me, I freed your shoulder from the burden. Your hands were freed from the load. You called in distress and I saved you. I am the Lord your God, listen to my warning. I answered, concealed in the storm cloud, at the waters of Meribah I tested you. Listen, my people, to my warning, O Israel, if only you would heed. I am the Lord your God, listen to my warning. Let there be no foreign God among you, no worship of an alien God. I am the Lord your God, who brought you from the land of Egypt. I am the Lord your God, listen to my warning. Oh, that my people would heed me, that Israel would walk in my ways. But Israel I would feed with finest wheat and fill them with honey from the rock. I am the Lord your God, listen to my warning. We stand to greet the gospel. Praise and honor to you, Lord Jesus. The seed is the word of God, Christ the sower. Whoever finds this seed will remain forever. Praise and honor to you, Lord Jesus. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. One of the scribes came up to Jesus and put a question to him. Which is the first of all the commandments? Jesus replied, This is the first. Listen, Israel, the Lord our God is the one Lord, and you must love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. The second is this. You must love your neighbor as yourself. There is no commandment greater than these. The scribe said to him, Well spoken, Master. What you have said is true, that he is one and there is no other. To love him with all your heart, with all your understanding and strength, and to love your neighbor as yourself, this is far more important than any holocaust or sacrifice. Jesus, seeing how wisely he had spoken, said, you are not far from the kingdom of God. And after that, no one dared to question him anymore. The Gospel of the Lord. Nourished by God's saving word, we turn in faith to our ever-loving and forgiving God and give voice to our prayers and petitions. We pray for our Holy Father, Pope Francis. May his recent pastoral visit to Iraq help to bring lasting peace to that country and to the whole world. Lord, hear us. We pray that the leaders of this world might work together and share their resources generously in providing vaccines and other necessary supplies to those most in need. Lord, hear us. We pray for all doctors, nurses, and healthcare workers who are caring for those suffering from COVID-19 and from all other sicknesses and diseases. In these very difficult times, may they know the consoling and encouraging presence of the Lord in their daily service. Lord, hear us. We remember all who are living alone and who are finding lockdown increasingly burdensome. 
May the Lord be close to them in their loneliness and frustration. May their isolation soon come to an end. Lord, hear us. We pray for all who have died, for those we have known and loved, those we have lived with and worked with, and especially for those who have been entrusted to our prayers. May they all enjoy the peace and rest of, it, of God's eternal kingdom. Lord, hear us. And we take a moment in silence now to recall before God our own particular intentions at this Mass. Lord, hear us. Loving God, we continue to walk in the valley of darkness. By your grace, help us not to fear any evil. Help us to know the power of your presence at all times. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Look with favor, we pray, Lord, on these offerings we dedicate, that they may be pleasing in your sight and always be salutary for us, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For through bodily fasting you restrain our faults, raise up our minds, and bestow both virtue and its rewards through Christ who is our Lord. Through him, the angels praise your majesty. Dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, 
and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to a second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Francis, St. Clare, St. Anthony, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis our Pope and Dermot our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, Gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Called together as sisters and brothers of Christ, we pray now to our Father in the words Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The 
peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. Only say the word and my soul shall be healed. To love God with all your heart and your neighbor as yourself is worth more than any sacrifice. Let us pray. May your strength be at work in us, O Lord, pervading our minds and bodies, that what we have received by participating in this sacrament may bring us the fullness of redemption through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Let us bow our heads and pray for God's blessing. Look graciously, O Lord, upon the faithful who implore your mercy, that trusting in your kindness, they may spread far and wide the gifts your charity has bestowed through Christ our Lord. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Let us go together in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God.